Excuse me. Pardon. Beg your pardon. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing? No, truly. How are you guys? Gals, women, and children. Ellen. Ellen, my dear. Ellen, I know you're watching out there, Ellen. And I know that you're a young lady and sitting with your dad. Watching Buck and Billy Ray's YouTube channel. Channel. Watching the channel. Ellen, you are. I know you are. Friends. Ellen. We have a special axe. And I thought to myself, being kind of cooped up, so to speak, you know, lack of a better word, cooped up. I mean, not cooped because we can, we live in a bit of a rural setting. So we can, I can go like yesterday I went and split that wood for the neighbor. I know they were cutting trees over there for the last, seems like week. Who's here now? Oh, there's Travis. Um, yeah, I heard the power saws going off for crazy over there for probably three or four days. And I, I happened to do a drive-by the other day and they were cutting quite a few trees down. So anyway, I, uh, I had that Tassie friends, right? That, that Tassie axe, you guys remember it, right? Actually, I just knocked it over. There's two here. It's funny friends, I was struggling. Hey, listen, before I get going, welcome to the newcomers. Friends, we just cracked 164,000 subscribers on this channel. That's a lot friends. That is a lot. And it keeps moving like a thousand more every like day or two. That's incredible. So if you're one of those, sincerely from my heart and from this community, welcome to you. Welcome to the channel. I'm, sin I'm sincere when I say that. I mean it. I love that we grow. Because friends, a goal I had for myself when I started the channel was maybe, maybe at some point I'll be able to be big enough on YouTube where we'll have a following where maybe maybe we'll be nicer to one another. Maybe I can help the world be nicer to itself and to each other, uh, human beings I'm talking about, friends. I talk about small things like as you're walking into an apartment built, uh, anywhere, it's walking anywhere, and you're out shopping or doing something down the gas station, you're running in to pay for your gas. Don't just tunnel vision straight for the freaking the cash register, take a look behind you, see if there's somebody that's packing something or coming that might need a hand or and open the door for somebody is where that whole thing came from. You know, and, and that's on my mind at all times. How can I go out today when I go out, not just be a tunnel vision person, be a guy who's got his scopes out looking for someone who might need a hand or just, just being aware of my surroundings and the people around me. You never know friends when someone's going to need a hand up. And my mom told me years ago, she said, Buckin, don't, she said, she didn't say Buckin back in them days. It was BR, Billy Ray. See, she said, don't ever look at the color of the hand that's pulling you out of the ditch when you need a hand up. Those were the words she told me. That stuck with me. Friends, I was a little kid when she told me that. My mom's lived a haywire life. She's good. She's been good for 30 years, but she lived a haywire freaking life. She was a musician, rock and roll, you know, and the whole gamut that goes with that. So she did. She said that to me. She said, don't ever look at the color of the hand pulling you out of the ditch. You know what I mean? So we're all here to help one another, friends. Let's not forget that. It don't matter. It don't matter. Nothing matters. We all bleed red, so that means we're the same. So, now, Ellen, I know that was quite a spiel. Hard for you to catch on to. Yeah, I get like that sometimes. Look at this, friends. Finally, finally, an Australian axe. Spotted gum comes to Vancouver Island and gets pitch on it. Fur pitch. See this? This freaking handle, friends, was like, like I'm talking like glass when it got to me. And that creates heat, right? And it's a bit slippery. It was beautiful craftsmanship, don't get me wrong. But now that it's got, it's got some stopper on it. It's got some pitch on it, friends, see it? Yeah, all up and down the backbone. And here, oh, this is, a, this is Chris Wallace, buddy. Wow, that's all like, I mean, I've got good axes. Don't, don't get me wrong, I, I know what a good ax is supposed to do. And this thing does it, brother. 
It does it. Were you seeing in the video, eh? That video was kind of off the cuff. I just thought I'd go over and see if anybody was over there. And they were there. Hi, friends. Okay, it's, how's everybody doing? Is everybody, you guys are doing okay? Are you? Yeah, this thing will, this thing will hit the road soon. We'll be all through it. It'll, it'll be good. It'll be extra good, like super good. So just be strong. That's all I say. Just be strong. Be the strong human being that you are. You know what, friends? How are we supposed to know good if we don't know a bit of roughness, right? Yeah. So I'm pulling up on this big tree job that was done. They don't know I'm coming. I'm gonna see if they need a hand, but I don't like filming myself doing like good deeds. I don't like it. We're gonna see here, hang on. And they were loading a guy's truck. A guy came to pick up the firewood and I just pulled right up. I just, uh, literally, I pulled right up and said, maybe they'll be in the comments. Are you guys watching the video yet? I forget your guys' names, but I jumped out of the truck and they let me split some wood. They're like, what's this guy doing? <laughs> Jump around like a leprechaun. The wood was split in no time and this freaking thing right here did it. This and, okay, that's my son. This thing's nuts. This and I can't take away from this thing, friends. I cannot take away from this ax. This is a white oak handle. Now it's not hickory. It's, it's not as tough. Hickory's amazing, friends. Hickory's amazing wood. Let's be honest, it is. But um, friends, I put an edge on her. It was, it was rough. It was, it was pretty rough. I built a firewood edge for it. Okay, my firewood edges, I'll show you how I build my firewood edge. Um, it's still cutting finger now. Like it, it's, you know what I mean? Like I, I call it a hard edge or a firewood edge. But this little son of a gun, it did really nice. It looks like the boys are coming in. Well, you don't have to shut down. No, I'm not There's shutting down. Hey, right? birthday wagon. Hey, how are you? Not, not bad. Oh, good. Who's your birthday? No. Happy birthday. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it is my birthday. Right arm. What are you guys up to? You going for up to the river? Yeah, we're gonna do something. Like I was just asking if, like, if you wanted us like, for dinner or anything tonight, or if it's just a just a regular day. You well, um, did you ask your mom? And she said to ask you. She said she's like, oh, it's my, is she cooking me dinner? Is the question. Well, she's making. St mom has. I want made you here dinner. for dinner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I want well, you here I, for I don't dinner. Know if I can even go anywhere. Though. No, that's fine. What's uh? You say Wyatt was trying to do something? Yeah. Wyatt the master. Well, what time are we well, what is it now? Four? Four. We can only go for like half an You hour. guys, where are you going up to that river spot? Somewhere, yeah. Well, well, why don't we, I mean, uh, it's four, right? Seven. 6.30? Sure. Sure, yeah. Yeah, it's like two and a half hours. Oh, yeah. So be home at 6.30. We'll have dinner for 6.30. There you go. Okay. Right, see you guys. Happy birthday, guys. Is that good, boy? Nice of him. Okay, sorry friends, um, Hogan, you know, there's that's good kids, eh? You know, I'll tell you something. Hey Dayton, how you doing buddy, you doing okay? Listen, I wanna I want to say a couple things real quick here. Friends, listen, I got a stump here now. I gotta sit down a sack. Hey, why don't I sit down? I wanna talk to you guys a minute. I do, I, I, want, I wanna talk to you. I'm not gonna get all sappy, but I am gonna talk to you, okay? Now listen, <laughs> here's the deal. You guys, yes you, Um, friends, our, our, our world is, 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 uh, I call it the landscape right now. It's a bit bumpy, isn't it? It's, it's a little bit bumpy. I just want to have a quick word with you guys, gals, women, and children. Alan, are you watching, sweetie? Good. Um, I get up every day, friends, and I think to myself, like, I like cotton. You guys know this. I, I like my cotton. I like my old saws. I like my axes. I like I like wood. I like doing it. This is what I do. That's why this YouTube channel has a lot of, of the similar content because that's what I do. That's what enjoys. That keeps my heart pumping. It keeps my spirit flowing. Mental, spiritual, and physical. Physical, mental, and spiritual. However you want to word it. That is what does it for me is wood, axes, 
power saws. So we haven't, we're sticking to the plan. We're sticking to the plan. It's our part. We're doing our part for this thing that's going on in our world right now. We're doing our part. Yesterday I was out. I, I was too close to people. I'll just tell you right now. I was too close to people. I, 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 I'm having a hard time because I'm a, I'm a person that engages in conversation. I'm, 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 if I'm talking to you, I come right up to you. I'm, I'm outboring you, giving you a slap on the arm. That's just who I am. So it's hard for me to, to pull back. It feels rude. It does. I feel rude. But it's an understanding between everybody. I get it. I know it. I understand it. And I'm doing it. I'm trying to do it. <laughs> okay, so. But anyways, so so tonight it, it is an opportunity for me. I've got an axe. Let's put down. Listen, uh, Chris Wallace, like I say, I don't know if you watch the videos, buddy, but I, I'm telling you again. Nice job. And I'm honored to own this piece. It could not have gone to a better guy, in my personal opinion. It's Canadian. It's Walters. I'm Canadian. I dig Walters. Chris, nice shot. Thank you again. Okay, I'll shut up about that now. Now, uh, White Oak, friends. Yeah, I'm a fan. I like it. I do. And we're going to move on right quick. And we're going to go right into this build, friend. Boom! Just like that. See that? Up I get. We are going to move into this build. And it is for a man who got this axe from his freaking grandfather. If I've got this story right, I think I do. I honestly think I do. Now, I got a drum stool, friends. So now I got my extra little stool. And actually, do you know what? I, I don't need it there because I... Listen, if you've got a sore back and you're standing up for a long time, don't be afraid to put your foot up. Put one leg up. I made these things for the soccer pitch. I'll share that with you one day. Oh, man, what a journey that was after I got smashed up. I had all these ideas to make these sticks. I call them walking sticks or leaning sticks. You could, if for dads and people with bad backs instead, you know, that, that, that can't sit down. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it, it's, you're so sore you can't sit down. Friends, when I got smashed, you got to understand something. Well, you don't got to understand nothing. I'm just going to tell you. For years after, after I got hit, smashed by that tree, for years after, still now, but not as bad as it was like the first five to seven years, it was bad. And what it was, is it was my tolerances. My Like you'll notice me, I'm always doing this when I'm standing here talking to you. I'm always jittering and moving because I can't stand. I can't just stand. I have no capacities. It's called capacity tolerances. Pardon me. It's called tolerances. What is your standing tolerance, your working tolerance, your walking tolerances, friends? I, I couldn't stand and I, I, I try and watch my kids play soccer and it's like, I got to figure, I, I need something to either lean on or take the stress off that lower back of that compressing because our, our discs are compressing at all times. They were standing. So I was like, I made this oak. I was on a job and I, I got these old oak sticks, uh, Gary Oak. And they had little limbs, strong little limbs coming off them. And friends, I think I've got one here somewhere. But I'm telling you, it was a combination of a walking stick, a cane, basically, with a foot peg on it that stuck out to the side, which was really just a limb. And friends, I'm telling you, even with this axe, if you put this axe down like this and you lift one leg up and you put it on there, your lower back instantly, instantly, takes the pressure off it. It's crazy, friends. It, they talk about it in like ergonomics and stuff like that, in your body and physical, physicality and stuff. They, they do, they talk about it. Um, now that I'm on this note, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, hang tough. I think I've got one here. Okay, friends, listen, I need to, I need to share this with you. This is, this is crazy. Talk about content. This is, friends, I wish I could tell you, try this. I, I honestly, if you've got a bad back, like lower back, and your, your tolerances aren't that good, or you got to go somewhere and stand and watch your nephew play soccer or your grandkid or something, friends, 
I'm telling you, this was born. This, I can't believe it. I went and looked for it. There it was right there. Friends, this is Gary Oak. This is born out of pain, okay? And the, the, the want to go and support my kids playing soccer and sports. It was, I, friends, I don't want to whine about the pain. That's not what I'm doing because my gratitude for freaking being alive way outweighs any freaking complaints I've got, okay? Trust me. But the facts are, if someone says, Bucking, how's your back? It's good enough. It's good enough. That's all I can say. It, I get around. But, so anyway, friends, I got to set the camera right because this, this wood is tough, eh? Like, it, it's tough. Gary Oak. Make nice axe handles, I'll bet. So, so check this out. So I'm, I'm standing there for so, at soccer and I'm, 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 I'm like this and it's cold and everything's, you know. So I'm like, gosh, I can't sit down because as soon as you sit down, it's the same. It's worse sometimes. So I'm standing. People ask, well, you sit down. It's worse. So I designed this and I started looking for the right sticks. Now, friends, this one's exceptional and I'll tell you why. I gotta make sure you guys can see the whole gamut here on, on the on the on the camera uh, lens, okay? I just I, I need you to okay. There. Okay, check this out. So here I am. I'm on the pitch. I'm on the soccer pitch. And I I friends, you gotta think about this for a minute. A guy like myself packing a cane, do you know how hard that was? You talk about humility an eagle crushing thing. You know what? I've seen young men use a cane because of an injury. There's no shame in it. There's no freaking shame in it whatsoever. I'm just like, I'm that guy where somebody says, hey, you need a log PV. And I'll be like, yeah, I got one. I just don't use it, right? I'm that guy. Well, this thing here, friends. So here I am. Here's the uses of this. For starters, you just, you know, you can, it's, Friends, look at this. I'm telling you right now. Look. Look at what I'm doing right now. Not only that, friends, I, I, I hope I'm conveying how serious I am right now about this little thing here. Okay? It's instantly, instantly, and this for some, this one fits like boom. I designed it, the, the length. I found the right limb. It just bang, right in there. This limb sits there. I literally, friends, I can literally lean on it. Look at this, friends. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. I haven't had this out for five years. I forgot how good it is. Look at me, friends. Look at, I, I'm just, and you can switch. Now you want to switch. So, so now you're on the pitch, you're watching, you just put a leg up and you lean on this. It, I call it a leaning stick. It's not a walking stick. It's a leaning stick. Look at me, friends. Look at, look at, <laughs> friends. I think there's something to this right now. My back has got no pressure on it. I got my foot up. You can't always put your foot up when you're on a piece of concrete and fences. Friends, I'm telling you, I got so excited about this. You can have it on the outside. You can have it on the inside. You know what I mean? You can do, you can use this as a leaning for your arms. Look at friends. You can put your coffee cup holder on it. I'm going to get a coffee cup holder. Ah! That thing will last Forever. Leaning stick. That thing's getting that thing's sticking around here. Where are we gonna put that? Let's put it over here. So you guys can see it. That was a freaking long video, friends. You know what I'm gonna do? I know that was a 25 minute video. I can if I go behind here and it says 25 minutes, I can guarantee it it is. Yep. It is. It's 22 minutes long right now. Man, oh man. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to 
And see here, this is this is why you see, like I, I I just I don't expect you to understand. I don't expect the average strong man to understand, because you think well, we just stand in there. Yeah, I'm just standing there. I know that's what I'm doing, standing there. Okay, now, um, I should almost have that walking that leaning stick with me at all times, just sitting right there. Look at Barbie's thing there in the window. The Iron Horse's wife gave me that, friends. Look at it. Look at how spiritual that is. Look at that eagle. Barb, I love you. Thank you so much again for that thing. That thing is here with me every day. Huh? Yeah. What is it? What is it like over here, friends? Like, like honestly, what what is it? What's what's it like over here? What, what would it be like if we had a different view? You know what I mean? Because the bench is kind of... That's pretty good. Is that light too much? The window light there? Or no? That's not bad. Okay. So. I want to know from you guys. I want you to leave a comment in the comment section if that light's too much. Uh, I want you guys to let me know, okay? Because what I can do easily is is pop it in, you know, pop this axe. We're gonna build this axe now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna up. See, I feel like putting my leg up right now, and I'm going to. I'll just use the axe. Um, I, I'm gonna show you this axe. We're gonna get started on it, okay? And uh, and then I'm gonna shut it down, and we're gonna do a a part two, or not a part two. We're just gonna say. I'm gonna have the video of us building this axe. I got another axe on the on the on the build too, right here. It's an HB. It's a boy's well, not a boy's axe because it's a full size eye, but it is a two and a half pound axe. Okay, it's a Montreal pattern, Hudson's Bay. Some people call it. I call it. I call it Hudson's Bay, but it's a Montreal pattern, as you all know it. But I want to know if that if that window is is detracting. And I, and I think it is. I think it is. It's detracting. So I, I don't really want that, friends. You know what I mean? I don't want it. I think I want, I want this in here. Let's look for some camera angles today. Right now, as a matter of fact. What would happen if I came in here like this? Yeah. Okay. So I got two two axes, friends, that we're gonna build. And this is a special axe. It's probably one of the nicest axes I've had in my shop, friends. Straight up, straight goods, it is. It's one of the nicest ones I've had in my shop. <clears throat> I can't believe it's here. Look at this, look up close. I don't know if you guys will see this from the light, but look at it. It's a plum. Look at that thing. It's a plum. It is scary look at that thing this is this is special is it chris or michael forget so many so many axes but red elm double bit and look at the shape of the double bit this these people know how to make a double bit axe slow taper down to a fit no shoulder just bob boom skis this is going to be incredible. We're going to start the fit. Uh, good morning, friends. I'm putting this together. I had it going last night, but I, I get it going now. It's about 3.30 in the morning. So listen up. This is what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to run you through a little, uh, an edge, what I call a firewood edge. It gives you an idea how I sharpen my, my firewood axes, my using axes, and the edge I put on it. Some you've heard me say hard edge or firewood edge. We're going to run through that scenario in this video because it's getting long. And then we're going to come back, do another video, and it's going to be the build and the fitmanship. And we're going to run right through it. And it's going to come out beautiful. Friends, I love you all. Be strong and be kind. Why don't we prep this, this edge? Let's do that for a firewood edge. I get a loosey-goosey old belt on my, on my sander here. Okay? This is what I do. I'll set you guys up here. This is what we do. Now, I think I've got the right one. No, I don't. 
So this is what I do for this stuff, friends. Because you don't want, especially with speed and power, you don't want uh, a, a, a rough sandpaper. I've got one here right now. Oh, I think this is it here. It's like, yeah. There's one here that's almost like a piece of nothingness. And there it is right there. Yes, that's it. There's nothing. It's it literally, friends, this turns it into a sh There's nothing left. So it's it's almost like a, it's like a piece of leather. This is like a piece of leather. Now check this out. So this axe head, friends, this axe head, someone, uh, excuse me, has gotten to it. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Look at this. See? You, you see, you can see the, the grindings. You know what I mean, friends? You can see it there, right? Yeah, look. I'll give you a close up. Yeah, see? it. Someone's got it with a, a file or a grinder. See, it's all separate bevels and I could do it by hand. Absolutely, I could do it by hand, but I'm not going to. No, I'm not, okay? Not gonna do it by hand. We're gonna start this, this ax build today and you guys are gonna come back and follow on with me tomorrow. We're starting with doing the head. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this one that's got like a teeny bit of something going on for it. Hardly anything, really. You guys could even come up super duper close. You guys want a close up or not? You don't need a close up. You guys can see what I'm doing. You guys can see, can't you? Okay, first things first. There's a little bit of unevenness. It's right here. Because I want you guys to catch what's going on here. There. Sorry. See, I need to do this for you guys to see this. Okay? It's going to go out of focus because it gets too narrow. So now, come over to this other side and it comes right back into focus. But how I keep it into focus is I go like this. Now watch. See that? You see the edge now? Okay? That's how I keep that into focus. So now, it, it, do you know what I'm saying, friends? So that's how I do that, okay? I'll show you on the close-up, okay? We're doing the other side now. There's nothing here, friends. There, there's literally nothing. There's no sand grit to it left. Might make this one a little different. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at. See this one's wider up the up the pole or up the cheek.
check this out. I need to show you this. This is this is part of the program, part of the procedure. See? See our our burr, friends? It's all away. The whole thing. See it? Okay. Okay. See? But now that's that side. Watch what happens. See all these lines? Okay, it's not on this one because I chose to take it with the grind. But look, I don't want to do that on this side. See, see, it's all still there. So you see the move I do next, right? Okay, watch again. So you gotta remember, there's actually no heat. There's no heat at all, look. Check this out. You guys know the deal. You've seen it, <clears throat> but you're gonna see it again. See? Let's go to this other side. There it is. See the burr? It's folding up. There it is. It's on the other side of the head. See? There it is. Okay, it's not here. It's gone. It's on the other side completely. You see what's going down? Okay. Now, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I do this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take out my straw now. And it's the one like, is literally like a wet noodle, friends. This one is like a, a, a wet noodle that almost turns it into a shine. Like a, like a complete creamy, beautiful, like you would get, uh, if you polished it, it is a polish. Actually, this is a polish. Okay, let's do it. Hear that? Oh yeah. I sometimes do this too, friends, like this. Because there's nothing there. There's no sandpaper left on it. 